Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel getting ready to read for the sign of Taurus right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with all Tauruses out there. Check your birth chart if this does not resonate, and everything else about this reading will be in the description box below, including on how to contact me for a personal reading, okay? So I just need one card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we have Authority. All right, giving me emperor vibes there. Someone taking control, someone finally taking control, I'm hearing. Someone just now um, have gotten this push to do something or take control about something, right? Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Masculine energy I'm feeling. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and separation, a time apart from your partners on the horizon. So you could be separated from somebody right now. This person is very passionate about you. It's a masculine energy. Um, that's what I'm getting. And um, they have romantic feelings for you. And they want to pursue that venue with you. They want to take that activity. Make that move. And they're going to take control. All right, Taurus. Let's see. For Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Taurus? Alright, give me four cards for Taurus. Four cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more for Taurus, please. So we have the Six of Wands here, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and then we have the Lovers. Like I said, someone has feelings for someone. It's like, I, I get this vibe that they're finally ready to put certain things behind them. They're making a choice to come after this, to come after this person that they have chosen. They're going to come towards you with the Knight of Cups energy, maybe an apology. Um, let's see. Why is the Six of Wands here? For Taurus. Why is the Six of Wands here for Taurus, please, Spirit? Yeah, we have the Six of Cups here. Two Sixes. Communication. They want to come in and communicate really fast. I'm also getting that. Um, I'm also hearing something about... Something about the past. Right? They're, they're really nostalgic to the past. Something about the past with you is like the past with no other is what I'm getting, Taurus. Um, you could have grown up with each other. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus, please. Yeah, they feel like because of your guys' past, things will be successful with you guys. Clarify the Six of Cups for Taurus. Alright, so we have the Seven of Wands. I feel like they're going to stand their ground. They're going to end up fighting for this. Um... It's like they want to protect you because they've made their decision already. So it's like, I'm getting like this this forceful energy with this person. You could be dealing with a fire sign, don't have to be. But I feel like this person, or an earth sign, that's also what I'm getting. I feel like this person will um, fight for this. Alright, tell me about the seven of wands for Taurus. Thank you. We have the death card here, transformation. So this person might come in and want to change things. Um, I feel like in the past you put your foot down. And now you're very successful. You're victorious. Um, and that's what they know about you so far. I feel like maybe you guys aren't talking, but they're at a distance from you. It's also what I'm getting. It's like you changed. You transformed. You're not like from the past. All right. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Justice. Balancing things out, making things fair, I'm getting. Yeah, we have the Emperor here wanting to take control. So this person is going to actually, I'm hearing like man up. This masculine energy is gonna man up and do the noble thing and do what he has to do to come towards who he wants. Okay. Um, yeah, they want to bring justice to the situation here by communicating with you or maybe apologizing to you. 
Clarify justice for Taurus. We got the three of wands. So they could be waiting for a court situation. Doesn't have to be court, but they could be waiting for justice. You could be waiting for justice. We have the nine of cups at the bottom. They could be waiting for you to communicate with them first. Or maybe they're waiting on the right moment, but it could be that court situation I'm hearing too. Because this might be the thing that they have to put behind them so they can uh, come towards you. Clarify the Three of Wands for Taurus. Why the Three of Wands here for Taurus, please, Spirit? I think one flipped over. Never mind. Why the Three of Wands here for Taurus, Spirit? Okay, so the only one that flipped over was the Page of Swords. So this person is definitely watching you. Yeah, I'm getting that they're at a distance from you and they're waiting. Maybe they, sh they could be waiting on communication. Um, but they're trying to keep tabs on you, trying to get more information, trying to keep track of you, really is what I'm getting. Uh, clarify the Two of Wands here for Taurus. Clarify the Two of Wands for Taurus. All right, so we have the Three of Swords. I wanted to come out in the reverse. Something about making a decision or planning... Someone made a decision that ended up breaking their heart. I feel like whatever they did or whatever you did, whatever ended the situation, it, it still hurt them, I'm getting, or it hurt you. Let's clarify it. Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to heal it. They have plans on healing it. Um, I'm hearing something about money. They could maybe want to get you something stable, something tangible is what I'm hearing, but they want to apologize too. Um, they're going to end up putting a lot of effort into choosing you because they realize that they have hurt you in the past. All right, clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus, please. Something rising in Venus sign. Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. These cards are a little bit harder. Eight of Pentacles for Taurus, please, Spirit. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. So they see long-term, you know, stability with you. That's what this is all about. Maybe they, like, they sabotage their own well-being by being disconnected from you. Okay. I'm also getting a vibe like maybe someone is not paying attention to the other right now. So, and they're very much focused on their um, craft for their own stability. That could be you, Taurus. Uh, clarify the lovers for Taurus. There's the lovers here. I have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is, again, worth investing in. They're sitting back and they're analyzing the situation for what it is. And they're realizing that you're the best choice. You're the best choice to um, invest in is what I'm getting. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the Eight of Wands here. They're going to communicate with you. Very fast communication. Things might happen fast with you guys. We have a Ten of Swords. So maybe there could be some ending of a flighty in and out energy. This non-committal energy and maybe lying. Maybe giving to two. They're going to put it into juggling their Ace of Pentacles situation because they went through a tower moment when they did that. And they don't want to go through that again, I'm hearing. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Taurus, please. There's the Eight of Wands. The Four of Wands with the Three of Cups. They want to reconcile. They see this as relationship material. They want to come in. There could have been a third party hiding behind the scenes, but... We're going to see what's going on here with the Soul's Journeys card. What is going on with Taurus's person? What is the energy of Taurus's person right now? What is the energy of Taurus's person right now? It's like they want to reconcile, but I feel like there's someone behind the scenes still. But they still choose you. What's the energy of Taurus's person right now? Yeah, envy. I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. This person sees you, and they want to come in, and they're worried that maybe you might find someone else. Health. I will honor a physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So they know what's healthy for them and what's not. 
Oh, wait a minute. I'm also getting something like maybe this person has some mental issues or something like that. They're realizing that they... First of all, if you're envying someone, that's not that's not healthy. That's very low vibrational. So this person has to snap out of that envy. Or someone behind them. Maybe that third person has envy or something like that. What does this person want to say to Taurus? What does this person want to say to Taurus right now? What does this person want to say to Taurus? All right, so we have my childhood was difficult and it still affects me, okay? I'm living the consequences of my choices, yeah. I destroyed your confidence in me, all right? I need to be alone now, okay? And then we have, can you forgive me? Can you try to understand me? So this person isn't gonna communicate until they know that you can forgive them, but they really do wanna communicate with you and they're coming third party situation you know they feel like maybe that you can't trust them anymore they feel like uh you don't have any confidence in them anymore with the situation all right taurus so that's what's going on right now i hope i give you guys some clarity if i did go ahead and like subscribe share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos i will see you guys in your next reading thank you namaste bye